If you've been following the news, you know that Puro, the carbon removal marketplace, just got bought by NASDAQ, the stock marketplace, with 3,000 publicly listed companies. So what does this mean? First off, I've been talking with people, what does this mean for Puro? And I'm gonna leave that to the, to the Puro team, to the NASDAQ team, to talk about this as, as they wish. What does this mean though, more broadly for the carbon removal industry? First off, this adds major credibility to the, to the story around the growth of the carbon removal industry. Remember that story, it goes something like, the world needed solutions to be able to pull carbon from the air. There were a bunch of startup companies and ideas and scientists and engineers working on solving it. Then some rich person came along and wrote a really big check to help kickstart and get them started. Then this grew into real solutions and greater scale. Then there was some sort of marketplace or infrastructure where thousands of these companies and trillions of tons of carbon were removed from the atmosphere. That story starting to look like NASDAQ is gonna have a big role to play in that kind of marketplace part of the story. Looking ahead, in the same way that NASDAQ has 3,097 publicly listed companies, what if NASDAQ carbon of the future has 3,000 carbon removal suppliers? We're nowhere near that right now. If you've been following the story with Stripe uh, writing checks to up and coming startup companies, you've been uh, following the story of Shopify helping kickstart carbon removal companies. What they're saying is there's a, there's a lack of supply means that there's not enough new companies pulling carbon from the sky. And I imagine pretty soon we'll start to hear some of that similar story from NASDAQ because now they're all in this world where they're looking for suppliers of carbon removal and they're looking to match make between suppliers and buyers. So how do we get from here to there? How do we get from having potentially dozens of companies right now that are pulling carbon from the air how do we get to the point where we're at 3,000 for this futuristic NASDAQ carbon? Well, first off, we need a lot more companies. And as part of Air Miners Launchpad, we're working on helping new companies get started in carbon removal. And with the first batch, we're working with about 10 early stage teams. We also need to provide an on-ramp for people to work in carbon removal. It's, it's not enough for just you know a founder or two to get together and start a company. Ultimately, you need a place to, where people can work, where people can make it their, their career. And that's where a big challenge is with carbon removal right now is that I'd say about 90% of the jobs in carbon removal are for companies that did not exist five years ago. That is, that is very different than any in industry out there. If you're working in software, 90% of software engineers aren't working for startups. Software engineers are working from everything from a, from a new idea in a cafe all the way up to government infrastructure. But in carbon removal specifically, it's 90% of those jobs are in startup companies. So of course we have to help get more startup companies started and that'll create more jobs for people to work in carbon removal. But there's actually a good number of jobs right now. Uh, and so we're hosting a career event in a couple of weeks uh, for carbon removal careers. And you can come and uh, meet other people that are hiring for carbon removal jobs, or you can meet other people that are uh, looking to work for your company. The other thing is if you're not ready to start a company and you're not ready to work for a carbon removal company, we also have the Air Miners Boot Up, where you can uh, take a four week course on the basics of carbon removal. You can learn about the, the companies, you can learn about the solutions, uh, and some of the kind of big meta challenges facing carbon removal. So much of this work is coming from my work at Airminers and specifically the Airminers Launchpad over the last couple of weeks where I've just seen so much with early stage teams, people getting hired to, to join these companies. And so for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna continue speaking about what I'm seeing from the startup level in carbon removal. Stay tuned, I'll share more of what it's like to start a carbon removal company and pass this on to anybody you know that's starting a company or interested in starting a company in carbon removal.